In section section three point two, there's a discussion on the the to show that uh, the the gender polynomials are orthogonal to each other, and then the how you get the the normalization constant. So we'll look at that. So to show that they are orthogonal, then uh, we start with the the gender equation. So you have d d x of uh, one minus x square d p l d x plus l times l plus one piece l equals zero. We start with the the gender equation. Okay. So what we can do here is multiply by the whole equation by another polynomial p l p sub l pi and then uh, so like uh, we sub multiply p sub l pi d d x so the whole equation just copy it down here press l times l plus one p sub l p sub l pi Okay, so when you multiply by that, you integrate dx from minus one to one. So the whole range of uh, the uh, whole range of x for the Legendre polynomial. So that is still zero because the equation is zero. So you multiply an integration is still zero. Okay, so um, now the next step is the first term you can do the integration by parts. So the first term when you do integration by parts, you have one minus x squared. This is one, one minus x squared. And PL pi d PL dx and evaluate at uh, minus one to one, which will uh, be zero because uh, x squared is one, for x is minus one to one. So this, the first factor is zero and all the, the other factors are uh, finite. So that would be zero. And then the integration becomes uh, this, multiply by dpl pi and dx and you have a negative sign. Okay, so you, have, you can group those together and it becomes plus minus one to one. You can use the, x, the negative sign to flip the order become x squared minus one. You have dpl dx, dpl pi dx. And plus l times l plus one pl, pl pi, that equals to zero, okay? So that is uh, how you get this from, from the Legendre equation. But this, uh, this pause that you can uh, start with l pi in the first equation and multiply by pl, okay? And get an equation, basically just interchanging l to l pi. And when you interchange L and L prime, the first term doesn't change. The second term you only change with uh, L change to L prime. And then you subtract the two equation, basically get rid of the first term. The second term, you have the difference between L times L plus one and L prime times L prime plus one. So this implied L, and those are out of the integration, L times L plus one minus L pi times L pi plus one, multiply by integrating PL, PL pi dx, that equals to zero. Okay, so if L is not equals to L pi, the coefficient in front is non-zero, it means that the, the integration must be zero. So, this integration is zero if L not equals L pi. Okay, so because the only way that uh, the first, the 
coefficient in front is zero, is L equals to L pi. That's the only solution for policy of zero L or L pi. Okay, so now we know that uh, the normalization is determined by the integration of minus one to one PL square, PL square dx. And what is this one? So now in Jackson, he showed that uh, he found out this constant by using the Rodriguez formula. So uh, that's uh, not the only way to do it. Uh, in fact, uh, because we have already used the Rodriguez formula to derive uh, a bunch of recurrence formula, we can use the recurrence formula to this, uh, find out this, uh, uh, this constant and maybe a little easier. So what we'll do is uh, to use uh, the first Rodriguez formula. So, so because uh, that we just derived last time, so PL. One of the PL you can uh, just uh, change this to 2L plus one divided by 2L plus one and the um, derivative of PL plus one minus the derivative of PL minus one dx and integrate x. Now you can make some argument because uh, the L, a pi, the gender polynomial P sub L has the highest or the higher power X in the X to the power L. So for the second term in the square brackets, this is the highest order in P, L, P sub L minus one is X to the L minus one power. And take the derivative and becomes uh, X to the L minus two power. Okay, so, and when you have X minus two power and multiply by B sub L and integrate over the whole range, it will be zero because, um, because of this orthogonal, orthogonal uh, condition, P L L minus one, this integration, uh, P L and then P L pi, this integration will be zero if the L is not equals to L pi. And the second term will only involve the, at, at the highest order is P to the L minus two, because it's the highest order is X to the L minus two power in the second term. So it doesn't have a P L, P sub L component in the second term. So the integration, uh, over the whole range will be zero. So the second term will be zero. Okay. Now you have the first term. And to do that, uh, because you have DDX, you can do integration by parts. So, so that becomes uh, an integration by part will, first you have this one over two L plus one factor out. And the integration by part is PL and this is PL, when you do the integration by partners and then PL, PL plus times PL plus one and evaluate at, uh, evaluate at the minus one to one. Okay. And then minus the integration of PL plus one times DPL DX DX. Okay. And the second term, we can use the same argument because this is PL plus one, this is PL PX DX. So the second factor involve uh, only up to L to the L minus, uh, P to the L minus one order. So th this multiplication and integration will be zero. This will be zero. Okay, now the, uh, the first factor, so remember that uh, all the legenda polynomial at x equals to one is one, so the upper limit is one. And when you evaluate the lower limit, now depends on L is odd or even, because you are multiplying by L and L plus one, so one must be odd and one plus be even. 
for the even one is at minus one is one, for the odd one is minus one. So the product must be minus one, but you subtract minus one, so it must be the all together is one plus one, so it's two. So this must be equals to two divided by two plus two L plus one. Okay, so that is the normalization constant. So all together when you uh, combining these two results, so you must have a PL, PL pi dx equals to two times two L plus one quantica delta L, L pi. Okay, so that is the final orthogonal the relationship between um, between the gender polynomial. Okay, so uh, that's basically the that uh, the discussion, but the uh, we could actually do one more thing here because uh, in Jackson, he also uh, in 3.35, he evaluated one thing after you do a Legenda series. The coefficient is obtained for that problem. This in equation 2.39, this integration, so integrating zero to one PLTX. Okay, and this is only for odd L, L is belong to odd integer. Okay, because uh, uh, for even integer, of course, uh, this will be zero. Okay, and uh, so for odd integer, you get this, this one, and how do you can, Again, using recurrence formula and um, and then the uh, using the Rager's formula to evaluate that. Uh, so first, you use a recurrence formula. Uh, again, using the first recurrence formula, this becomes just integrate zero to one d d x over p l plus one minus PL minus one DDX. Because this is a total derivative that becomes uh, just PL plus one minus PL minus one, you value a zero, uh, zero to one. Okay, so for one, of course, uh, both are one, so that was zero or zero. So this is uh, just uh, equals to PL minus one at zero minus PL plus one at zero. Okay, this is for L is odd, so both are even. So L minus one and L plus one are even. So if L is zero, it's non non zero, because uh, if for the gender point or odd order, if L at x equals zero must be zero, but uh, for even is not so. So this a sub l can be expressed as this, and this uh, this zero factor we can actually use the uh, Rodriguez formula to try to get that. So Rodriguez formula, your p l is one over two to the power l l factorial and d d x to the l times an x squared minus one to the L power. Okay, and now we are try to evaluate x equals to zero. Okay, and we know that uh, this is only for L is even, that would be non-zero for L is uh, or this, this will be zero for x equals zero. So uh, we choose L equals to two n. So n is uh, n is zero one. Okay, so L is integer for us. Okay, so uh, we are trying to get P L zero, and because uh, you know x squared minus one to the L power. 
and you take the derivative L, X, uh, L times or X derivative. So the only non-zero term after you substitute X equal to zero is when you have the X to the L power. When you X to the L power, you take the L, L derivative L times, you get a constant out. For all the power that are larger than X to the L power, when you take the L derivative, you still have some X left that uh, evaluate x equal to zero will, will set those to zero. For all the power x is a power less than L, after you take the L, due to L times, all those terms will be zero. So only the only terms that is non-zero is uh, when the x is to the power L. So all, you, all so after this one will be just, uh, after you take a derivative and the constant, okay? And when you have the x derivative and you take the L, L times the x derivatives, you get the x factorial out, L factorial out. Okay, so basically uh, <coughs> you get uh, L factorial out. So, so, so PL is zero, so you have one over two to the power L, so cancel with this L, this is L, this is L factorial. Okay, cancel with the L factorial, and now all you need to, is this, uh, this binomial expansion, but take the L terms. Okay, so the L, L terms is, uh, because this is totally is uh, L, so you have L factorial. And the coefficient is uh, divided by L over two factorial, divided by L over two factorial to square of that. So L over two is N, so N factorial square. And you have a minus one, so you have a minus one to the uh, L over two times. That would be the coefficient, okay? And Alpha two is just alpha two is just n. Okay, so okay, so now the rest is just to simplify it uh, to a form that is uh, co comparable to Jackson's uh, equate Jackson's result. So what we can do is uh, what we can do is. Uh, so change L, L to 2N, okay, so you have, uh, you can, so L is 2N, so this is 2N factorial, and you can, in this 2L, uh, 2N factorial, you can separate the L factor and the even, uh, even factor and, and odd factor, for the even factor, you can can divide it by n factorial, okay? And because they're even, so you have a factor of two and you have n of them, so you have two to the power n. And you have this two to the L in the denominator. And what is left is uh, when you uh, do this uh, derivative, Okay, so you have a, uh, you cancel with n, n factorial, so what is left is uh, uh, just all the, all the odd terms, and to write odd, all the odd, odd term, you can use the double factorial uh, notation. So L is even, L minus one is odd. So all the odd term is given by this double factor. Basically L minus one times L minus three times all the way back to one. Okay, so then you cancel with one of these uh, factorial. So you have all, you, all is left is L minus two factorial. Cancel one of the square, one of them cancel this. All is left is L for two factorial. Okay, so, 
and then you have this minus one to the L two power. Okay. And then uh, I guess that would be the final form, except that you can simplify one more term. This is L, the N is alpha two, so you cancel with this uh, factor in right L minus one, double factorial minus one to the L for two, and two to the L for two, and L for two to the factorial. Okay. And now this is PL zero. So you can substitute this form to here and there. And now you can simplify that. So A sub L will be, so there are two terms. So L minus one zero, which is this, this one, evaluate L minus one. So you have L minus two, double factorial and then minus one to the L minus one, minus one. L minus one over two divided by two to the L minus one over two and L minus one over two factorial. And the minus the same thing with the this L becomes L plus one, so all together become L double factorial, then minus one to the L plus one for two divided by two to the L plus one for two and then L plus one over two factorial. Now you simplify everything by uh, get the common denominator out. Okay. And before we do that, we can actually, uh, because this is minus one, we can absorb the minus one here. So it become L minus L plus one minus one becomes L minus one over two. So it changes it to plus sign and this is the same minus one to the L minus one from over two power. So we can pull everything out. So you have minus one to the L minus one over two power. And actually the two we actually have the same power, but uh, we can write it like that. So, and then pull out the uh, L minus two double factorial and pull out uh, L plus one over two factorial. And after you pull that out, so uh, for the first term, you all you need to do to get this L plus one over two out is just, uh, is just multiply by the, because this, this is an L factorial, so uh, this one is out, so this, this one has a L plus, L plus two over two, so you need to multiply L plus two, L plus one over two, so that you can pull out the L plus one over two factorial out. The second one, because you only pull the L minus two double factorial, so you still have an L, okay, still have a L over here. And you get an extra two factor in the denominator, so it's plus L over two. Okay, and you combine, you combine this one becomes two L plus one over two, Okay, you come two L plus one over two and multiply by the rest. This will be the, the same as uh, equation 3.26 of Jackson. And remember this is for odd L. Okay, so that would be the 
we saw that got this coefficient in that uh, legend series. Okay, so that is uh, for this discussion.